Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a web browser comparison. So we all spend a lot of time online, probably more than we should, so it definitely pays to be using the best browsers that you can. So today I'm going to be comparing four of the biggest browsers around. So we have Google Chrome 27, Mozilla Firefox 22, Opera 15, as well as Internet Explorer 10. To start with, we have Peacekeeper, which is a great overall test of a browser. So this is a very general kind of test, so it doesn't just focus on one thing or another. Surprisingly, Opera wins out here with a score of 3,829, followed closely by Chrome with just under 3,800, and Firefox and Internet Explorer are much farther behind with scores around 1,900. Next up, we have the HTML5 test. Now, HTML is kind of like the rulebook for the internet. So the better that each browser will support it means that in turn they will be able to support more cool and new things that you'll be able to do online. Here, Chrome was almost perfect with a score of 476, with Opera and Firefox doing quite well with 432 and 424 points, and Internet Explorer bringing up the rear with a score of just 326. Now we're testing memory usage with seven tabs open. So this test is especially important if you have a little bit of an older or slower computer, as generally speaking, the more memory a browser needs, the slower it will run. Here, Firefox does very well, needing only 330 megabytes of RAM, with Opera doing decent at just over 400 megs, and both Chrome and Internet Explorer needing about 450 megabytes of RAM. Continuing on, we have Octane. Now this is a pure test of JavaScript performance, and generally speaking, if a browser does well in JavaScript, it's going to be a very fast browser overall, as JavaScript is basically everywhere you go online. Here again, Opera does very well, posting a score of over 14,000 with Chrome right behind. Firefox does decently with just under 12,000 points, and Internet Explorer finishes a distant last. Next is a test to see how long it takes to open each web browser. Now something to keep in mind is that I did do my testing with a standard mechanical hard drive, so this should be very applicable to most computers out there. Surprisingly, Internet Explorer actually did very well here, thanks to the fact that it's built into Windows, loading in only 1.4 seconds. Firefox is also pretty snappy, taking only 2 seconds, with Opera and Chrome needing 3 and 3.5 three and seconds to load. A new test I'm using this time around is Browser Scope. So any web browser can have issues with a security hole, however generally speaking some browsers do better than others, so this is going to take a look at some of the more common threats and if they can stop them or not. Here all four do very well, with Chrome blocking the most threats, followed closely by Opera, Internet Explorer, and then Firefox. So how do the browsers stack up? Well there are very good reasons to use Chrome, Firefox, or Opera. So Firefox is the easiest on your memory, as well as the quickest to load up. Chrome is going to be very fast pretty much across the board, and it's also the most compliant with HTML5 as well as being the most secure. However, this time, the winner is going to be Opera 15. It narrowly beats out Chrome to be the fastest web browser, and it's solid in pretty much every single category, leaving it no major weaknesses. But of course, tests can't show everything, so what's your pick for the best web browser? Definitely be sure to let me know in the comments below. I also want to thank the sponsor for this video, Swagbucks. Swagbucks is the largest online reward site with over 7.5 million members. It's a completely free site that rewards you for the things you're already doing online, like searching the web, taking surveys, watching videos, shopping, and more by earning Swagbucks, which you can redeem for all sorts of gift cards in the reward store. You can use the website or download their iOS and Android apps for more opportunities to earn. Swagbucks also has a special contest just for you guys. If you want to win a $100 Amazon gift card, all you need to do is register with Swagbucks with the link in the description, and once you earn 100 Swagbucks, you will be entered to win the gift card. The winner will be announced on August 17th, so good luck! Anyway, that's about it. If you enjoyed and want to see more, be sure to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. Anyway guys, I will catch you next time.